Good afternoon, Nanny. This is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Hey, like I said, just doing a virtual tour on our 2019 Nissan Qashqai here in front of me, the STL, with only 42,000 Ks on there for 28,990 drive away. Uh, like I said, this is just a really good chance to take you through the whole car. Um, I'll show you the service history, the uh, any little marks or blemishes I can find, the features, the whole works. So, I um, hope you enjoy it. Uh, I look forward to hearing your feedback as well. Um, look, just a bit of an idea of who we are. So, obviously, Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Um, this is one of our two pre-owned vehicle yards. So, this is at 77 Mulgrave Road. Uh, you can see it's absolutely chockers at the moment. You can see a two-story showroom over the back there. So, it's uh, this is, we have got a bigger, larger yard a little bit further out of town as well at 235 Mulgrave Road. And we've also got our parts and um, service and uh, Toyota Lexus showrooms there as well. So it's um, yeah, pretty big operation, but helps us get really good cars as well. So look, like I said, we've got the 2019 Nissan Qashqai sitting here in front of me. Um, yeah, we'll get into it. If there's anything you can't see in this video, just let me know and be happy to get some photos through uh, instead to make it easy for you. So I'm just starting from the front. Heaps of tech in this one being the STL. So you've got your front sensors all the way around. You do actually there and there as well. You do actually have front cameras on this and a 360 camera there too, but I'll show you that once we get inside and um, show you how all that works as well. So, looks like just a small, tiny little sort of stone chip just on the very front bumper there on the driver's side. Anything like that, if it is a concern for you, don't stress, we can look, talk about getting that um, touched up if it is a, a concern for you. So a little bit of um, uh, dropping some dirt from the night before, but don't stress, they, um, we actually give these a wash and everything before they come down here as well. So it makes it really, really nice and easy. So we've got the driver's front wheel down here. So very, very clean. Just trying to find anything I can sort of show you on there. Besides one little sort of scratch just down the bottom there. Um, very, very tidy though. So miles of tread left on these guys, you can see there. Very, very tidy. Uh, pretty much what you expect for those sort of Ks on this sort of car. So again, you got your, so part of that 360 camera is you've got the camera actually tucked up under there. You've got the blinkers and the mirrors there too. I'll just show you right across that windscreen there as well. So no chips or scratches or anything to be concerned about. And same across that bonnet. So very straight lines, very clean. So just a little bit dirt as well. So I'll just take you down the uh, the driver's side here. Like I said, if you can't quite see anything in this video, just let me know. And we'll, uh, we'll get some photos through instead, show you across that roof. Exceptionally well looked after. So you've got keyless entry on the um, on the driver's side door here. So I've got the keys in my pocket at the moment. So we push that, that actually locks the car. And we push that again, that actually unlocks it for you too. So really easy, you can keep those in your pocket. If you're trying to balance kids or groceries or anything like that, just makes it really easy to jump in the car. Uh, it looks like a tiny, tiny little sort of mark there. Very hard to see until you get up close, but a tiny sort of chip just on the inside of the door there, which is pretty common. But yeah, like I said, very, very, you can see all those lines there. So feel on the driver's side here as well. So right down to those wheels. Heaps of trade left on these guys. So while I'm here, I actually open up these doors for you. <laughs> I like that. A lot of the seats obviously through here too. Uh, good for the kids, they give you heaps of storage in the back here as well. That's actually a big storage thing there, so you can put phones or toys or anything like that. Um, you've got the, the argument separator there with the two cup holders in the center there as well. Uh, these seats will come down too, so you've got the adjustment just there. And that'll fold just about flat for you as well. So right out through that back, if you need to put anything larger in here, you can do that too. And that side will drop as well. This is just the brochure that we use. Put that in there for you. But heaps of space in these guys. You can see right across that roof as well, just how well it's been looked after. So you've got the rear sensors across the back here. Looks like it's a tiny little chip on the back there too. And again, if that's a worry for you, we can get those touched up. Uh, so the rear sensors there, 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 and there. The whole way around again. Your reverse camera just up underneath as well for the back end. Uh, while we're here, we'll just open up the boot for you. I'll show you. Up on the inside here, so you get the parcel shelf in the back. 60-40 split for those seats, so like I said, they will fold down and this side will do the same. 
Um, and again, this parcel shelf just sits on that little hook and attaches up here. So you can just pop the whole thing out and give you a massive amount of space through the back there. Um, got a little loop for the spare tires, so that's all hidden under there. Put your tools, jacks, everything around the outside. So again, hasn't been used that one, so which is great. So just the handle up there, it looks like a tiny little bit of sort of wear and tear just on the inside here and again along the side, but nothing too bad at all. And even across that rear bumper as well. So just a little bit dirty from last night, but no actual chips or anything like that. That looks like a tiny chip there for that one, but the rest seems pretty good. Just a really good looking car. You can actually should be able to see that in the sunlight too, so it does have that pearl white as well. It looks really, really good in the sun there. Now we're now at the passenger side of the rear wheel, so a little bit of gravel rash there. But it's very, very well looked after. Again, heaps of heaps of tread left on these guys. So I'll just show you the inside of the handles because I know they are always common for like the fingernails and the, and the rings and things like that to scratch them, but that looks pretty clean in there. Again, just those entryways for you. Again, you've got the keyless entry on this side here too. Struggling to find many chips here, hey? It's good to... <laughs> so again, another camera up under there for you. And just that final wheel here too. So a little bit of gravel rash at the top there. And here. But besides that, very clean. Just a little bit. A little bit still on the very edge of the rim there. And that's... Uh, very very good example so what I'll do I'll just jump on the inside of this passenger front door here I'll show you that and I'll bring up all that service history for you too so all your books manuals everything's all inside here there's a folder there for you too um, I'll just skip to the important bits of the, all the services so it looks like a private owner this one uh, we've got so uh, 2020 so the original service at 10,000 10,000 k's 2020 at 20,000 again 2021 at 34 and of course through us so if we get a car in that is due for a service we'll do the services so that everything's sitting on the yard should be up to date and have nice clean stuff in it so august 2020 uh, 2021 sorry at 42,400 so that's by us so really well looked after and you can see yourself I'll just show you across that dash there too just a good example so you do have the height adjustments on the um, driver's side but you got them over here on the passenger side too so you can lift that up and actually raise the height of the seat as well as moving the backrest there for you. So it makes it real comfy for anyone here in the passenger side. They've also got access to the um, central locking there too. So we'll run around and we'll jump in that driver's side for you, get it fired up. So like I said, we do have two keys for this, the two genuine Nissan ones. So central locking on both of those. So as long as we're inside the car or within the uh, proximity of those doors, all those keyless um, buttons will work. So we'll be ignition on the dash, as long as the foot's on the brake. Get that started up. I'm just going to get some aircon going because it's a hot day here in Cairns. Uh, little welcome messages. And then 42,507 on the clock. So a little notification as well for, for seat belts in the back there. So again, if there's kids or people mucking around in the back, you can tell who's, um, who's got their belts off. A bit of eyes in the back of their head, which makes it handy. Up on the steering wheel itself, all your radio controls are all here on the left-hand side and your Bluetooth and cruise controls up on the right. Um, all your headlights, everything's pretty standard on the right hand side. So just your parkers and your headlights and your high beams. And of course your blinkers there too. And your wipers and everything on the left hand side here as well. So the visor is very, very clean on the inside. You can see my reflex in there, which is great. And uh, again, on the other side there too, so mirrors on both. Uh, all your headlight, your interior lights, sorry, not headlights. Interior lights the whole way through too, so we make sure all they're working as well. Um, just down into the center console, so we pop that up, a little bit of storage, and then your USB and AUX inside there too, as well as your heated seats for both the um, front and the and driver's side as well. So you've got the high setting and the low setting for the heated seats. Uh, as we come along, obviously your cup holder's in the center there, so if we pop that into reverse with the foot on the brake, you got your cameras there, so your reverse camera on the right-hand side and your 360 vision on the, uh, the left-hand side there too. So we can actually see that front rail that's in front of us, uh, the cars, cars either side and the ones in the back there as well. So really, really handy. Um, that's probably a good reason why those rooms look so good because you can see exactly what is around you. And as soon as we go to reverse, uh, that's it. 
So really, really nice and handy on that side. Uh, your, your park brake is down here. It's an electronic one. So as long as the foot's on the brake, you can push that down and that'll disengage it. You should actually be able to hear it as well. And then same thing to, to bring engage as well. You've got an auto hold there too. So if you're on slopes or sitting at lights and you're on angle, you can push that. And it's going to hold the car in place for you too until you take off. Aircon control is pretty simple. Fans on the left, temperatures there. It does all touch screen for the radio. So you can flip between your different AM, FM radio. CD options, AUX, Bluetooth, the whole works is all there for you. It does have navigation there too. So we jump into that set note there. So it does have a satellite navigation there as well. So really, really handy setup. Um, cold air gone. We won't sell a car out of here without cold air. That'd be criminal up here. So I'll just show you all through that backside there too. Like I said, try and get as much as I possibly can in these videos for you. Uh, ISO fix seats um, fixes the whole way through there too. Up here in the front on the driver's side, so we've got all your window controls, central locking and your window locks. You do have a little button there to tuck those mirrors in as well. So you can, if good for shopping centers, I always like them because people are pretty common for walking past with their watches and bags and banging on the mirrors and things like that. So a good way to protect them is just by tucking those in and then to control the actual mirrors themselves. So you just flick that little switch to the right or to the left and adjust that as you need to. Down in here, we've got your lane departure control as well. So you can turn that on and off there too. So that'll, um, if you do start to drift over the lines without noticing, it's gonna beep and it's gonna let you know, as well as your adjustments for the headlights or the angle of the headlights. Um, down in here, you've got your fuel and your bonnet controls down there. So they just leave as they open up for you. So while I'm here, I'll actually open that bonnet up for you. We'll jump outside the car. And I'll just show you this one while it is running there too. So we'll jump out here. So that's just beeping to let me know that I've got the keys and the car is still running just so you don't forget. That is your engine bay. So very, very clean, like I said, very well maintained. It's always the sort of cars that we do try and aim to achieve to, to get into stock. But it's a really good example. So, um, and this actually concludes my virtual tour of the 2019 uh, Nissan Qashqai. I really look forward to hearing your feedback and um, yeah, look forward to hearing from you soon. If there's anything I've missed, just please sing out. and. Um, I can get some photos through or maybe another video for you. Look forward to hearing from you soon.